Countries wishing to join BRICS must not engage in unilateral sanctions, according to Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rybakov. But at a Moscow press conference, he highlighted this as a principal criteria for BRICS membership, particularly emphasizing the prohibition of sanctions against any current BRIC members, especially Russia. Russia's statement comes as BRICS, a bloc originally comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, continues to grow. Recently, BRICS expanded by including Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran and the UAE, now collectively known as BRICS+. Plus. This expansion underscores the bloc's increasing influence and its desire to promote a multilateral global economic order at this point of time. The significance of this statement lies in the geopolitical and economic landscape it helps shape. BRICS, with its growing membership, aims to counterbalance Western-dominated institutions like the IMF and the World Bank by insisting on non-participation in unilateral sanctions BRICS positions itself as a champion of sovereignty and non-interference, appealing to countries frustrated with Western economic pressures and sanctions. The economic implications of BRICS expansion and its anti-sanction stance are significant. For one, number one, it strengthens the group's bargaining power on the global stage, particularly in trade negotiations and the international economic forums as well. As more countries join BRICS, the bloc's collective economic output and market size increases, enhancing its influence over global economic policies. Moreover, for countries joining BRICS, the anti-sanctions policy offers protection against the economic fallout from Western sanctions. There's particularly appealing for nations like Iran and Russia, which have faced extensive sanctions from the West. Well, in summary, BRICS condition for new members to issue unilateral sanctions signals its commitment to fostering an alternative economic order. This policy not only strengthens internal unity but also attracts countries seeking to avoid the repercussions of Western economic sanctions, thereby reshaping the global economic landscape.